So I started switching my mindset and the power of the tongue and how I speak on myself. I cry less, I don't worry anymore. What's up you guys, it's your girl Bianca B and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you guys check out my celebrity interviews, vlogs, and makeup tutorials. So today in this video, we are gonna talk about how to stop worrying and start living life and being grateful. These tips that I'm about to give you has truly, truly, truly helped me on how to stop worrying and how to just start living life and stop taking things so fucking seriously. So in this video, these are my tips on how you can stop worrying about the smallest little things. The first thing is figure out what exactly are you worried about. There's a couple of key elements in life of what we worry about the most. It's our financial situation, it is our job, it is our kids, it is our family, it is our health, it is death. Um, it is, those are like key components of things that we truly worry about. The main thing really is mainly your financial situation and love and relationships. Those are like the t two key components of why people worry so much. Worrying if you're a dude to cheating on you, worried about who loves you or who likes you, worrying about how you're gonna pay for this, worrying about how you're gonna pay for that, how are you going to survive? So you need to first figure out what exactly am I worried about? What is the main common denominator of something that I keep continuously worrying about and how can I change this situation? The, the next thing is the power of the tongue. Everything you speak, everything you say, everything that you're around, the power of the tongue is very powerful. So you have to remember how you speak about yourself, how you speak on your situation. If you're always saying, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, you're going to keep manifesting, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I don't have enough. It starts being, and this is my next tip, a lack, you're, you're living out of lack. And most of the time, lack comes from your upbringing and how do people speak on certain subjects. So, for example, if you grew up in a household where people continuously talk that money is bad, money is evil, um, we don't have enough, how are we going to pay for that, how are we going to afford that? If you keep living in that mindset, I promise you, you're going to keep attracting that. So, the power of the tongue is so important. It's so important on how you speak on your life, how you speak on your relationships, how you speak on people. Um, and I started reprogramming my mind that like, no, I deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. I deserve to be treated with princess treatment. I deserve this, I deserve this, I deserve this. So I started switching my mindset and the power of the tongue and how I speak on myself, how I speak on others, and how I speak on my situation. So always remember that the power of the tongue is so, so important and you deserve the life that you want. You can manifest anything that you want out of life if you just keep tapping in on how you speak about yourself and how you speak out loud about others. The next tip is stop thinking of lack. Stop living in a lack mindset because you're gonna continuously attract lack. You're gonna continuously attract more worry. I'm worried about how I'm gonna pay this. I'm gonna worry about how I'm gonna pay that. I'm gonna worry about this. I'm gonna worry about that. I'm gonna worry about this. I'm gonna worry about that. Worried about that. That, 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 that. Stop living in a lack mentality and a fearful mentality. Stop living like this. You have to start being aware of going back to the power of the tongue and you need to stop thinking of lack and that everything is going to turn out bad. Especially if you grew up in the hood if you grew up where you had to be in survival mode all the time like you're gonna think negative you're gonna think that everybody's out to get you you're gonna think that and you know what when you think that and when you speak that you start you 
continues to keep attracting that. Even up until recently, I started just shifting my mindset, started shifting how I speak on things, saying that I can afford that. I can have that luxury item. I can have that luxury thing. I do deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. I deserve a man that's going to um, treat me good and treat me like the person that I deserve to be treated. And I'm gonna reciprocate that as well, okay? The next tip is affirmations. You have to start speaking highly of yourself. You need to start speaking the things that you want. Stop speaking on the things that you do not want. Start speaking on the things that you want. Start speaking about the things that you want. Even through text message, how you talk to people, how you text people, what you say about yourself. When people compliment you, accept those compliments. Stop with the continuously of lack mentality and stop and the power of the tongue is so important. It is so important. You have to say your affirmations. I deserve this. I am, I am, I am, I am talented. I am a good person. I am loyal. I am a good human being. I, I am a giver. I am a receiver. I am whatever it is. Start speaking those affirmations daily. I am beautiful. I am at the perfect weight. I am beautiful. I am confident. I am the best version of me. When I leave the house, I am the best version of me. When I leave the house, people are gonna treat me with respect. When I walk into the room, I am powerful. I am a goddess. You have to start thinking that you are. So that you have to say your affirmations, people. You have to have faith that everything is going to be okay. Faith is very, very hard. It is very hard to tap into, especially when you feel like things in your life are always chaotic and always bad. You have to start having faith in yourself that everything is going to be okay. I am alive, I woke up this morning, I am okay. You have to start thinking like, I am okay, I woke up this morning. You have to have faith in yourself to stop worrying about things that are out of your control or if you do have control over it how can i get better at controlling this and i'm going to tell you guys how you can start getting control over things and stop worrying so much the next thing is patience we want to rush stuff so quickly and i know i'm someone who lacks patience like this is the stuff that i'm telling y'all and the advice that i'm giving is the things that i personally struggle with i don't just get on the internet and just talk to talk and try to be this motivational person. No, I'm speaking on experience. I'm speaking on the things that I learned. I'm speaking on my behavior traits that I had to learn and tap into that I'm still working on daily, still working on. You know what I'm saying? I, the stuff that I say to y'all is like shit that helps me. Shit, I go back and watch my videos and be like, damn, Bianca, you was preaching. Um, so, you have to learn how to be patient that, and learn that everything is going to work out. You may not understand why, you may not understand when, but it will work out. This is a big one. Don't tell everyone your problems because sometimes people will bring those old habits, though, that old you, that old version of you that they met and bring that up into situations or arguments or bring themselves into the situation of whatever it is that you're going through. So don't tell people your problems that you cannot trust. So go to a therapist, go to a counselor, go to um, a friend that you really, really, truly trust. If there's an area in your life that you feel like you lack or you worry about, for example, if you are worried about money, go to a financial advisor, go to a professional. If you are worried about a relationship, go to a relationship coach. Stop telling people your problems because as you continue to grow and as you continue to elevate, people may refer to you back to your lack and back to your worry days and back to the person that you used to be that you no longer are anymore. So stop telling people all your fucking business because at the end of the day, people sometimes don't want to see you happy, don't want to see you flourish. Um, some people hate when people are happy. Some people hate happy people. Y'all ever... I've even seen women do this to other women so much. A girl would be super, super happy and super positive and be like, wow, she's so happy. She's stuck up or she a boo. Stop telling everybody your problems. A lot of people don't like happy people. Misery loves company. I know that's such a cliche quote, but it is fucking true. So stop telling people your business. 
practice gratitude. Always say your your gratitude daily. Always pray. Um, I'm somebody, I get on my knees and I pray. I actually saw a girl um, video not too long ago and I was like, I need to start doing that. Actually getting on my knees and actually praying to God and being grateful for all the things that have happened in my day-to-day -day life. Um, and that has helped me a lot. And the last tip is whatever problem you are having, stop crying and start being a problem solver. Once I started thinking of life as problem solving, I'm telling you, I cry less. I don't think of lack mentality. I don't worry anymore. I started thinking about my problems and how can I fix this problem? Think of everything as problem solving. And once you get in that mindset of like, okay, this is my problem, this is how I solve it. And if I can't solve it today, I will eventually solve it. You know what I'm saying? You control your life, you control your environment, you control everything. It's your girl Bianca B. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at it's Bianca B. TikTok, it's Bianca B. Go to shopbiancab.com. It's your girl Bianca B. Bye guys. Yeah.